Hello students. Now we will continue with the chapter evolution of human beings. The human evolution has been divided into different ages. The first is the stone age. It is the periods when human beings used various kind of tools made of stones. This period is divided into various ages. The paleolithic age or the old stone age, the mesolithic age or the middle stone age, the neolithic age or the new stone age, the charcolithic age or the stone copper age. The paleolithic age or the old stone age. The early human ate fruits and roots. They hunted animals with stone weapons and ate their meat. So they were called hunter gatherers because they lived by hunting animals and gathering fruits and roots to eat. But there were two problems. First one, many animals ran faster. And second one is it was very dangerous to go near the animals as they attack, killed or injured the human beings. The next topic we see is tools. So to overcome the problems, they made tools of stones with sharp edges and which could be thrown from a distance. They did this by chipping away that is breaking small pieces of stones from a big piece of stone. Slowly, they understood that some stones could be broken and made sharper more easily than others. They discovered flint stone, which could be easily shaped and was used to make sharp objects like knives, spears, arrowheads, axes and harpoons, which is also a spear-like weapon. These tools were used for hunting animals, cutting meat, fish, digging and even sewing. During excavation, the archaeologists have found many tools which are still sharp. Excavation is digging out old buried objects to learn more about the past. An archaeologist is a person who studies the past by excavation. Shelter. Now let us see where these people lived. They did not have houses. They lived on trees to protect themselves from wild animals. They also made houses with animal skins. They took shelter in rock caves to protect themselves from sun, cold and rain. In the next paragraph, we'll study about cave painting. The early humans made painting and drawing on the walls of the caves in which they lived as a form of recreation. Most of them were images of hunting. The archaeologists think these paintings had some religious significance. But the most important thing is that the colors used are still bright and colorful. Our country has one of the largest collection of rock painting in the world. The most famous paintings are found in Vimbetka in Madhya Pradesh. The discovery of a large collection of tools in Jharkhand and these paintings in Vimbetka shows that prehistoric humans lived in India as well. I hope you remember what are fossils. Well, they are the remains of ancient living things like plants, animals, preserved in rocks. So we can study the bones and skeleton of these early humans from the fossils to know more about them. Now let us study the life of the hunter-gatherer. It was difficult. They led a nomadic life that is moving from one place to another in search of food and water. They hunted animals and ate berries, nuts and fruits. Their clothes were made of leaves and animals skins. With the discovery and use of fire, the lives of the people changed. It is not known how and when fire was discovered. There are many theories about it, like lightning set dry woods on fire, which might have led to occurrence of a forest fire. Third one, we see maybe sparks from stone tools while making their might have set dry leaves on fire. Whatever it was, fire helped 
the early humans in many ways number 1 kept the people warm number 2 it protected them from wild animals number 3 the food cooked on fire was softer and tastier and number 4 fire lit up the dark caves at night with this we end today's lesson we'll continue the remaining portion in the next video now here is your worksheet based on today's lesson as already mentioned write the answers in any notebook you can use comment section of the video for any query or question thank you